All right. Good day. Let's start. It's day six. Today we've got pirate. Oh no. Ugh. I hate this stage. I don't even want to look at it. Okay. What are the contracts? Uh, HP. Sure. Sure. That's fine. Whatever. That's fine. I'm not going to get oil. I have to get someone stunned. Negative fifty percent HP. Sure. Fifty attack. Okay. Seventy. At oh. Hmm. Okay. And. Hmm. Well, we're gonna lose. So. Let's at least try it at max contracts once. Well, before we do that, we have to make a team. So let's get this team. I forgot to update my damn wheel again. Unprofessional. And we're good to go. Let's start. Our first member is being selected from number 15. Number 15 contains uh, Ambriel, Myrrh, and Norhorn. Uh, we're not going to make the same mistake we made yesterday, where we didn't pick a healer, and we only got Lancet. So let's pick Myrrh this time. I actually like Myrrh for this stage. I think I used her on my Risk 18 run. Uh, when it was the main map. Um, so next on our team comes from number 18. I wonder if there's any I haven't opened yet. Any any that I haven't rolled yet. Let's see. 18. Exia, Rogue, and Eagle. I don't really use Exia on this map. So I'm going to take Beagle. Having a good defender is important after all. Next up we have... Number 11. Number 11 is... Myrtle, Vermeil, and Rangers. Let's get Myrtle in here. Myrtle I also used on my Risk 18 run. Use her in most of my runs, if I get the opportunity. Uh, fourth on our team comes from number five. Number five has uh, Guma, Podenko, and Ansel. Um, I guess I want Podenko here. Or do I want Guma? Well, considering the contracts, I think I need Gumu, because I'm definitely going to need bonus healing. Although I would like to take Podenko, and so probably need, probably don't need more than one healer. Uh, next is 13, or number 13, lucky number 13. Well, let's just grab Vigna and call it a day. Or do I want to grab Yato? Well, let's just grab Vigna. I don't really know what I'd use Yato for. Considering the contract, she'd probably self-destruct as soon as I put her down. Number 12 gives us Orchid, so we're going to take Orchid. I'm glad I passed up on Pedenko now. At least we have Orchid. Uh, next up, we have. I'm hoping I get like Silence or something. Oh, even if I get Silence, I have to take Silver Ash in that position. Um, so Texas Catabolt and Castle Three. Um, I'm. I feel bad about overloading Vanguards, but I want Texas. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I also can't see myself using Castle or Catapult for anything else. Maybe I'd use Castle to stall one unit for one millisecond. 
Uh, number two. Okay. Okay, I gotta pick Silver Ash. I want silence, but I have to take Silver Ash from here. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I wonder if I'll make a special exception and bring Aya, because Aya isn't in any of these uh, images. Next up is Moose, Stuart, and Gavial. Um. I feel like I want Steward here. Yeah, so I'm going to take Steward. I would also like another defender at some point. Oh, I took Gumu. Never mind. I've got two defenders. That's all I need. If I get Hoshiguma, though, I'll go take Hoshiguma instead. Um, next is number seven. Number seven is... Uh, Perfuma, Jessica, and Cruz. Let's take Perfuma. A uh, passive heal is really good. And among other reasons, just the way I can position her makes it a little bit easier. Next is number six. I believe this is the one with Hoshiguma. It is not. Um, I'll take Shirayuki. Or should I take Popka? It's actually tempting to take Popka. How many melee units do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 4... Um, yeah, I'll just take Shirayuki. It'll be good for slowing down uh, Crown Slayer. Alright, the last member of my team of today's daily comes from number 1. Number one has... I know I said I wanted another card. I mean, Defender. This is not what I had in mind. But okay, Cardigan. You're on the team. Please don't let me down for the third day in a row. Alright, this is our team for today's daily. I'll admit, there have been better teams. I don't know if there have been worse teams. This might be the worst team so far. Um, well, let's just jump in. So we're probably going to give up on max risks as straight, pretty much straight away. Um, so how do I usually do it? I usually do it like this. There's no, uh, EP generation contracts, which is a nice change. Um, what should I do? Let's put down Steward. How fast do you die? Oh, pretty fast. Alright, Vigna, just hold out a little bit longer. That's usually where I put my healer. So yeah, that's rough. Alright, well... No, it's not over yet. I have Cardigan. Wow. Cardigan is somehow less tanky than Texas. Okay. That's fine. Let's make it a little bit further than that. I think if I put Steward down after Myrtle instead of Texas, I think I can last a little bit longer. Come on, steward. And Orchid. Come on. 
Uh, I, I tried to retreat her. It didn't let me. I guess I'll put Texas down. Um, I'm not really sure who to put down here. I guess Gumo. And Cardigan. I mean, not Cardigan, Beagle. I also want... Perfuma. Oh, Steward died in... Oh, Perfuma died in one hit. Oh, Vigna died in one hit. Texas died in two hits. It's new. Oh. Eagle. No, that was Gumo. Okay. Well, I know when I'm beat. I don't think any combination or deployment order could have saved me there. I guess if I put Silver Ash down first, and then just did his super and then put everyone else down to block shots, I might have lived. Um, but then I would have had the rest of the level to do. So yeah, the 90 defense down is kind of rough. 90% defense down, I should say. No worries, now that I don't have such an awful debuff on me, surely this time everything will go swimmingly. Let's just put Vigna down here. Oh, look at that, she's barely taking any damage. This is way better. Um, Orchid goes here. So Brash goes here. I don't really remember where I put my casters. I know my healer went here. That much I remember. Um, but I don't really need a healer right now. Let's put Umo here. And then retreat you. To put that. Huh. Who was that? That was Orchid. So these guys just kill Orchid, I guess. That's okay. I have Shiraiki. It's not really okay, though. Now let's do this. I need to put my healer down, but if I put her down, this guy's probably going to one-shot her. So I need to wait for him to stop attacking. Okay, now I can put you down, and you down. And, uh, y y you? Are you good? Sure, let's put Steward down. Well, Steward died instantly. You are not Silver Ash. Please let me use Silver Ash as a deputy. Oh dear. Maybe Crown Slayer will still die though? Please don't kill. Okay, you've killed her. Did Crown Slayer die? I think so. Now I'll retreat Silver Ash if I were to do this the same way as usual. Let's just put down Cardigan as a way to garner the attention of the stunmen. I guess Figno will have to play that role. Ah, uh, Cardigan got stunned anyway, because there's another one. Right. Well, Stuart is coming back up in time. So I should be able to defeat that guy. Is there a buff on those archers? I mean, crossbowmen? Uh, let's see... The stun effects don't matter... I mean... I 
I guess hmm. the stun I'm fine with. The attack and attack speed I'm fine with. I think it's the HP that's ruining me. Uh, it feels bad going down all the way to risk 8, but if I feel like I can't do it, then what's there to do? Like, I could have just taken off the attack buff instead. Yeah, let's take off whichever one is the least... Because the reason why I can't do it... Oh, they're all... All of these are the... Okay. So... Let's just take off the HP. Because the reason is... Even if I survive uh, the crossbowman, the red crossbowman... I still have to deal with the giant bird hammermen who come out of here. So you should be able to hold out there, you've got a lot more HP now. So next I'll put Steward here. Or should I put him here? I think here is better. Okay, here comes uh Archerman. Should I put Vigna here? I'll try putting Vigna there. Hopefully the Archerman will prioritize Vigna. That way. Um, wow, you attacked Orchid. Wow, you're still attacking Orchid. Wow, you attacked Orchid three times. Thank you for your nothing, Vigna. Thank you for doing nothing. Maybe I'll live. Looks like I will live. I shouldn't have put Beagle down. Or oh, whatever. Oh good, uh, Steward dies. Steward dies there to that guy. I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with these. I don't think Crown Slayer died. Okay. So she's there to deal with this dude. Let's put Orchid down. Orchid's gonna get stunned anyway, but. Or just shot down, I guess. That was also gonna happen. And, oh dearie, you're running right through. This is harder than I thought it was. There must be some combination of contracts. I think, let's do it this way. I just somehow need a way to not die in one hit. Okay, 
Let's hope it works out with this combination. Sure would be nice if it did. Here comes the marksman. Wish I had a fast redeploy operator to deal with these guys. Just gotta make do with Vigna sometimes killing them. This is risky, but I think it might just work. The idea is that Perfuma's passive heal saves Vigna, except Vigna is not attacking who Vigna should be attacking. Well, maybe that's fine. Oh wow, that is so late for Silver Ash. That's fine though, because I can use Texas's ability. That is not Silver Ash, that's Mo. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, that was close. I kind of put someone down without really thinking about it. It looks like Crown Slayer will not die, but that's okay, she's really close to it. I guess I should retreat Vigna now. Looks like this plan is working. So far. I wonder... I feel like I should retreat Silver Ash. Um, since I'm gonna need to deal with... Uh, I'm gonna need to deal with Crown Slayer when she comes out. I'm not entirely sure when she comes out though is the problem. And I might need Beagle. What, who just died? Steward. Because of this dude. That's usual. I'm just gonna drop model on him. Oh, Metal got, like, stunned almost immediately. I do sort of need these people to die. Wow, it is hard without having Aya. I just realized how hard it is to deal with this without Aya. Who's, who's died? Myrtle. That's expected. You need to not... Well, he did it. I guess I just lose now. Stuart is coming back up. Wow. I see. So that's how it is. I didn't want to do this. But... I've been left with no choice. I'm going to break my emergency glass. You left me with no other choice. This is an emergency, and in cases of emergency, your glasses must be broken. Everyone, 
It's all coming back to me how I used to do this level. Did I always put here there? I thought I put healers there usually. Well, whatever. An orchid. Next I'll need... Please! That sucks. But at least Aya doesn't die. I should hang on to that ability. I want to put... Um, what's her face? Should I Iki down? This probably is not the best spot. Please don't kill- die. I forgot to put down a second defender! Yeah. Alright, you go Beagle. Okay good, this worked out. Um, who do I have left? I have Orchid. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, uh, maybe I should've. All I need to do is retreat Beagle and put down... ...and Cardigan in our spot. Ah, oh, but they'll still attack Orchid first. Which sucks. At least until they get to Cardigan. So I guess it's not that bad. Could be worse. I'd like to replace Perfuma, but I really can't. Because then uh, Stuardo will die. Unless he won't. It seems like they're not even attacking him. Well, we'll find out. To replace with Shiraiki or not? I'm going to do it. Taoredo. Okay, here comes the big wraiths. That's what Ayo is here for. Just need. Just need Mur to not die. So if you could just not die, that'd be great. Okay, not bad. I think. I think it's not bad. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this situation over here though. Maybe I should have retreated someone. I'm going to need to retreat someone eventually. Let's do it like this then. Hopefully Stuart comes back up in time to save me from Crown Slayer. I don't know if... He will though. I'm also gonna need to... Retreat Shiraiki... And put Perfuma down instead. Crown Slayer is here. I don't have anyone who can deal with that. Stop! Uh, curses. She's just gonna walk right past me. I don't have anything that can deal with her. Yeah, yeah. So, I need to have a better deployment order. The reason why I didn't have anyone up is because I messed up my deployment order.
and so I have to keep retreating and replacing people. I should be able to do it this time. In my original run, I would retreat Silver Ash right after using his ability, but in this situation, I don't think I have the damage to hold this without him. Um, so I kind of have to keep him there. This time let's put Orchid down first, since Orchid keeps dying to the uh, crossbowman. This way if I put Orchid down first, they'll target Aya instead, since I put Aya down second. Next, let's put down a healer. And next, let's put down Silver Ash. So hopefully, Orchid lives. Uh, of course not. Why would, why would Orchid ever live? I guess the problem was I put down Orchid. At all. No, I put down Silver Ash. If I had put down Perfumer here instead, I think he, I think he would have gone better. Uh, but that's how it is. Stop clicking on other characters. Okay, I just need to put down card again. And as soon as you come in range, activate. And as soon as you come in range, activate. And as soon as you come in range, activate. If I kill her in one attempt, everything should be fine. Yes, okay, good. Now I should now I shouldn't have to worry about anything. I hope, at least. I also need to retreat and put down Beagle. I'm not sure if I needed to do that, but I feel like I feel like I had to. I wasn't sure about my deployment order up there. Oh yeah, if I hadn't done that, they would target Orchid. So yeah, that was necessary. I should just be able to fast forward. Right, here come the runners. Not that big of a deal. Now you come the leaders. And get Aya to kill them. Thank you. How is this holding? Is it holding well? Looks like it. Okay, back to fast forwarding. I kind of wish Steward was in a bit of a better place um, to hit the uh, Hammerman, but like he can't hit here, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I should be able to deal with these. I don't think I need to activate Silver Ash. Good, Texas is there, that's right. Very good. Here comes the second one. Oh, you're stunned. Wait, isn't that kind of bad? Let's retreat. Put down cardigan. No, no, no. 
please, you've got to be joking me. Okay, so Stuart actually can't go there. Shidaiki has to go there. Because since Stuart can't reach, both of my defenders get stunned, and then I get leaks. Steward can be on cleanup duty, I guess. I could also put Steward where I had Perfuma, but if I do that, you will probably just die. Unless I retreat Texas and put Perfuma like over in the corner, and then use her passive heal to heal him. Um, but I don't think that that'll work. Was I always putting Orchid down first? Yeah, sure. Put down Aya. Let's put Steward here. As soon as I get him. And Steward. Or Myrtle's ability. So that I can get um Mur up. Damn it. Okay. I don't know if that was good or not. I don't think it was. I'm not even probably gonna get Silver Ash up in time. Well, oh, and I didn't put down any defenders. Okay, yeah, that was all just a big mess. So I need to wait. How long do I need to wait? It's weird that I cannot, I can't put Orchid down first, or she just dies. I guess I can... No, that, that just causes problems if I put her down. I just sort of need to wait until I have everything ready to go. Let's try not to put any unnecessary units down. You are not Gumu, you are Gumu. Okay, so that's fine. Because you heal. Um, so the idea is... Wow, that looks rough. Okay, this is my last time with Myrtle's skill. And then I'll retreat her. So the idea is Shirayuki, Orchid, Perfuma. And stun and beagle. Grand Slayer dies, everyone's happy. This should be successful. Beagle is there as my stun bait, and Perfumer is my stun bait on here as well. With her passive healing, and her healing when she's not stunned, she will pretty much never die. So now I just need to wait for the big hammerman to come along. And then I can activate Shidaiki's ability for those guys. Oh, Mo was close to dying there, but fortunately she did not. Let's hope it stays that way. Yo. 
Looks like she lives. That's good enough for me. Might have activated this too early. It's still hitting him, but not as much as I'd like it to. Actually, it's probably better that I activated it early so that I have it up in time for the next one. I just gotta make sure that I stall them. No, I can't use this yet, because she's gonna attack them. I should be able to use it now though, because it'll go and do piercing damage as it goes through him. Yeah, that's good. I should probably retreat Texas, um, so that I can put down like Cardigan or something, if uh, one of my defenders gets blocked. Or both of them get blocked like that. I mean, stunned. I'm just scared of uh, camouflage units coming through. Not sure what to do about this. I'm gonna use Orchid's ability. And I'm gonna use Silver Ash's ability. Okay, that worked out. Worked out quite nicely. I think this is the last of them. Wow, I've actually finished it before an hour passed. And the only reason is because I cheated and put Aya on my team. Well, this wasn't anything special. I guess let's do the challenge mission. Ninety percent defense down sucks. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I wonder if Orchid will still get one shot. Well, let's try it out and see what happens. I have more spots for healing now, so that's always good. Yeah, they guy, they hurt. They hurt quite a bit. Can I click on? Can I click on Texas? Thank you. Um, I should put down. Super Ash, I guess. I should really put down uh, So what's gonna happen here? Okay, it looks like he doesn't do enough damage to instantly kill. That's always a good thing. I feel like there's someone I'm forgetting. Well, if I'm forgetting about them, they probably weren't important. Wow, Gumu, please don't die. Thank you. Okay, this should be good. Wait a minute. Something's wrong. That was close. I forgot to retreat Myrtle. I should clean it up nicely. All I have to do is not die until the end. Or preferably not die at all.
This time I switched it up and put uh, Beagle on the right side instead of the left side. I'm not sure if that was the right move. This should be an easy clear now. The start is the hard part. Oh, he might even kill this thing before he gets to Beagle. Ah, never mind. Oh. That was less harder than I thought it was, but I guess that's because I had the contract by itself. I could try and use my serious team to get a uh, max risk. But I feel like that's just gonna be a pain. But it's only been not even 50 minutes since I went live. So it's not like I have anything else to do. weird using the scroll wheel on the mouse sort of counts as like a button press um i could go for higher than 18 risk on this all right i didn't do this one because i hated it i still hate it so i'm not going to do it um i guess i'll just try and do max risk then figure out who I usually use on this. Uh, Texas, yes. Myrtle, yes. Let's use Pedenko this time, since I didn't get to use her last time. And Perfuma, as usual. Oops, quick go for a sec. Do I really need anyone else? I do need a second defender, so Gumu can come along. Ah, oh, what's this team look like? One, two, three, uh, four. Oh, you know what? I should take a either a caster, or I could just take Shiraiki again. I could also take Yatanu. I guess, hold on, do I have any 25% HP? Well, they don't have any, like, defense up or anything, so I guess Shidaiki is fine. Shidaiki can come along. It feels like I'm missing something.
I guess I'll bring May. And Gravel. I guess Gravel is just there for cleanup. Yeah, let's see if this works. If I remember correctly, I think Texas like instantly died last time. But that's fine. Because I have Gravel now. So Gravel will save me. I hope. Maybe Texas just won't die. Um... Okay, let's try that one again. Maybe I should have taken skill 3 on Hashiguma. I don't think I need it though. Hopefully I'll be able to defeat... What's her face again? Ca Ca Crown Slayer? Crown Slayer. Hopefully I'll be able to defeat her before she teleports into the staircase. Um, this is an interesting conundrum. If I block one of them with gravel, I should hopefully get Texas' skill up. Yes, I will. But she will immediately die. Um, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. Oh, what do I do? I need a healer. I think Aya can handle it. Okay, Silver Ash comes up. Gravel goes down. Wow, Gravel does not last long against those guys, huh? <gasps> Alright, you know what? Forget Matt. You know what? Forget Max Risk. I don't need to do Max Risk. No, I want. Mm, no, if it was, if the, uh, if the crossbowman only came out of the left side, I would do max risk, because I would just put down gravel every time to block them, um, and I'd do it in range of like A or something, so that A would be able to hit them. Uh, but since they come out both sides, I won't be able to block both of them. So taking off the uh, defense down, we'll, I'll still be able to do it with the defense down gone. I'm sure there's other ways to do this level other than what I'm doing, but I don't know of it, there any of them. I'm not sure if I'd be able to think of them by myself. This is all I know how to do. This is all I was able to figure out when this was the permanent map. Oh, I need my healer. And I need a defender. Oh, yeah, yeah, still died. Well, I can't win if Aya dies, so... I guess if I can't do it on max risk, there's no much point doing it on a lower one. Especially since I'm using my serious team rather than my randomized team. Um, so what else is there to do? I guess I'll just hang out and... do a bit of grinding for Korea's M3. 
until I run out of sanity, and then I'll call it there. Maybe I'll go back live in like half an hour or something. I want to play Child of Light. I installed it the other day, so maybe I'll play that. That'll be fun. Or I could go work on my model. I might do that instead, try and get it nice and animated. Or at least looking nicer than it does. I wish I had the uh, the determination of some other uh, Arknights players, because I just watch them like I watch them with like some ridiculous, not very good team, and they'll just mash their head into eye contracts for like five hours. And then go back live the next day and keep trying. And then they'll still like never end up getting it. I like that. But, like there are some times where I'm watching them and I'm like, oh this is impossible, you're not it's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. But they keep trying and eventually they do it, and I'm like, man. It took you like ten hours, but you actually did it when I thought you wouldn't be able to. That's still pretty impressive. I, I just give up too fast, but even so, I don't give up um, unless I believe that there's no way. I guess if I I could try again on like risk, what was it, 10? I could try again with my randomized team and like mix up my strategy, do different things. But in my head, nothing I theorize comes up will work. Nothing I come up with works in my head. Like, my idea to win with that team is shove everyone in the top left corner and the bottom right corner and then sort of just like try and out heal or stay alive. Just try and avoid those snipers for as long as possible. But I don't think that would work my damage would be too far spread out and like putting cardigan in one spot and then putting beagle in a different spot will be like just silly because cardigan will just die in like three hits and beagle will die in maybe four or five hits without her shield i don't think there's any way if i had better characters i would have done it but i don't so i didn't Maybe if I had Spectre or something? Yeah, if I had Sp uh, no, even if I had Spectre... Like... It would just be Spectres that would be the only one left alive. And even then she could just get stunned. I guess if I had a full team of like Sardia, Sutha, you know, Nightingale, No, whatever, the whole top, top tier, Angelina and all that, maybe I could have done it. Oh yeah. 
The goal of these randomized streams is to get as high as risk as I can. Oh, actually, it's to get risk 8. At least risk 8. But I'll always go higher if I feel like I can do it. Um, so risk 8 is satisfying enough for me. If, the, if there was like a, oh, get risk 9 and you'll get another reward, then I would endeavor to do risk 9 or something. But yeah, it's basically just to go as high as the rewards are. Because it feels like just a waste of time to do it otherwise. Like, I guess there's the satisfaction um, for being like, okay, like knowing that you're smart enough and your strategy is good enough. Um, and I do get that satisfaction when I do, like I did risk 13 on day one and that was really satisfying. And getting risk 9 yesterday when I only had Lancet as my healer, that was really satisfying. Um, but I just don't feel a need to bang my head into something that I feel is impossible. Like, I don't think the satisfaction is worth it. It depends on the case, and in this case I'd say it's not. But yeah, I mean, it's something that I've done to myself pretty much ever since I started playing this game. Because, like at, start, at the start I had Hoshiguma, Silver Ash, Silence, uh, Amiya, and, you know, I had all these, like, high rarity characters, and I was always like, ah, oh, which one? Which one do I want to level up next? Which one do I want to invest in? And then I like thought, like, well, what about the four-star characters and the three-star characters? Like, what's gonna... Like, I haven't used them. Or, well, I've used them sparingly. Like, what am I gonna do with them? Like, I'm never gonna use them, because I'm just gonna use, like, six stars and five stars. And then I'll probably use, like, Myrtle and Gumu. Or the special case four stars that are good. Um, so at some point while playing, I was like, you know what? I'll max out my current roster, and then I'm just gonna start from the lowest rarity, work my way up, fully max out every character. That's way that way I get to use every character, um, and it'll just be more satisfying for me that way to use everyone, and it's also been really fun, like, overcoming challenges with, like, a fully four-star team, or four-star and lower team, like, some of the, uh, uh, chapter seven challenge missions, the H7 extra ones that are after the, that you get after completing the main story for that state, for that, uh, chapter. I did some of those with a fully four-star team. And that was really fun because I got to use Ambril, uh, and Ambril actually had a use. And since I like Ambril a lot, I was really happy to have a level where she really fit the niche. It doesn't happen very often, so... It also took me like two hours to figure it out, so I was really also really satisfied when I did get it. But yeah, it's just things like that. As I slowly work my way up, finish maxing out all the 4-star characters, and start working on the 5-star characters, it's going to get more fun. I think the game is just going to continue to get fun, as I very slowly become stronger. I feel like if you start and you just level up, oh you got Suda, you got Silver Ash, you got uh, Saria, you got Exia, you got Angelina, Aya, if you just max out all of those meta characters right at the start of the game, then the game just becomes like putting down the same characters every time. Because you don't really need to adjust because the meta is just there for you. Um, like there are a lot of players I know that did that and then they were like, well, it's kind of boring now, so let me use the lower rarities and actually have a challenge. And so now they're like 
using lower rarities. And I feel like starting with lower rarities is better because you have uh, more fun as it goes along rather than less fun because they're just like seeking the challenge and since their six stars negate any challenge they have to turn to the lower rarities. Of course you don't have to M3 max trust max level every four star, every three star, every whatever. That's just, just something that I decided to do because it would feel, I don't know, incomplete or wrong if I didn't M3 every character as I was going along. But yeah, that's just my take on, I guess, the game in general. And on the way I play it. I don't think there's a wrong way to play. I think that's one of the main amazing things about this game is that it's so versatile. You can do whatever you want. You can play for the meta, you can play for your favorite characters, you can just like there are obviously there are events. There are events like CC and there are events like normal events where you can just play for the story or you can play to get all the badges, you can play to do all the challenges. There's a lot of a lot of stuff you can do, a lot of choices you can make. You can do whatever. You can look up guides, you can figure it up on your own. There's always options. There aren't really any other mobile games that compare for me. This is the definitely this is I think this is the only one that I log in and actively play every day. I've been logging into Toho Lost World as well and grinding the event in that. Um, but it's not the same because I just put it on full auto. I mean, to be fair, when there's no event, I'm doing this in our events as well, where I just have it on auto replay. But it feels different somehow, I guess. I guess it feels more involved. Because, like, I can, I have the option. I guess you have the option in Toho as well to just put it off of auto. Maybe I just like the tower defense game more than the. Uh, Toho Lost World battle system. It's a fun game though, and I like. I'm mostly playing Toho for the characters. Or Lost Toho Lost World for the characters. But I feel no real inclination to go do the story, or to go back and do hard mode and lunatic mode. Like, I'm just grinding for the event to upgrade my characters. Whereas in this game, I'll do everything. I'll do normal mode, I'll do challenge mode, I'll do annihilation. I'll do the bonus stages and grind the events, get all the badges, upgrade all the characters, upgrade my base, do the mid daily missions, all of the daily missions. Like in Momusume, I've lately just been logging in and doing dailies instead of playing the game. Um, but to be fair, playing the game takes like one or two hours for every run. And FGO, I don't even, I'm just daily logging in, I am hardly motivated. Project Sek Sekai as well, I just log in. It feels like too much of a commitment to get in and actually play it. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for me for today. I might come back with Child of Light in like an hour or so, maybe half an hour. Um, thanks for watching. Today's daily got done really quickly. Um, because I cheated and used Aya. But I also think it was impossible to do Risk 8 with my randomly generated team. I did get kind of unlucky, probably made a couple of unwise choices. 
Um, but it is what it is. So yeah, thanks for hanging around. I'll catch you next time.